Hello, everyone. My name is Lindsay Beauchart. I am a third year biomedical science student here at the University of Windsor, and I am currently an undergraduate researcher in Dr. Rondo Gagne's lab, where I've been exploring the enhancement of OECT-based biosensors through the synthetic manipulation of semiconducting polymers, and we'll get into that title very soon. So we live in a time where technology is continuously advancing. We have achieved the development of high performance devices that we truly never imagined would have existed outside of our favorite movies. The future of electronics holds the potential for enhanced manufacturing accessibility with printed devices. Additionally, human compatible devices that are wearable or implantable offer exciting new applications in healthcare, for example. Now, our research brings together material science and chemistry to explore the design of innovative materials for use in devices with these properties. Now, in recent years, there has been a growing demand for greener technologies in all fields of science to promote sustainable development. Organic electronics are an emerging technology that are ideal for this purpose. Now, often when you hear the word organic, you may think of produce that is farmed in a particular fashion. However, through the lens of a chemist, organic refers to compounds that are carbon-based. So organic electronics refer to devices that are carbon-based. Now, these devices have the potential to be more sustainable in that they're carbon-based, a very abundant resource. Additionally, their inherent durability may allow them to last longer, so we're disposing of them less often. They can also be recyclable and biodegradable. And moreover, these devices can be produced with flexible, stretchable, and self-healing characteristics, which create new avenues in countless applications. Now, our interests lie in the enhancement of organic transistors. And this is a type of device that can control the flow of electrical signal like an on-off switch. Now, among others, organic electrochemical transistors, or OECTs, are a type of organic transistor that I will be exploring. Now, notably, OECTs show promise as biosensors, which are devices that can detect various biologically relevant compounds. And advantages such as biocompatibility and the ability to operate at low voltages set OECTs at the forefront of the next generation of biosensing technology. Now, there's many elements to these OECTs that we can manipulate, but one that we're particularly concerned with is the semiconducting channel. This channel is composed of an organic conjugated polymer, which is a chain of repeated molecules that we can fine tune to have electronic properties. Now, previous literature has explored the high performance of the polymer P dot PSS for this semiconducting layer in OECTs. Now, following this and the preparation of a variety of standard devices uh, using this well-studied P dot PSS for the semiconducting layer, we will build from this design to improve OECT performance through the functionalization of a new organic semiconducting copolymer based on E dot and ISA indigo units, which are engineered to possess customized electronic properties. And additionally, actually going back here, we will also explore the incorporation of carbohydrate side chains to this new copolymer, which can actually make these devices more soluble in greener solvents. And then once these devices are fabricated, they will undergo a series of comprehensive characterizations in which we will evaluate their electronic properties. And this will include sensitivity, response time, and stability. So overall, it's our goal to understand and enhance the materials and devices that possess biosensing applications. And these applications encompass the detection of various bioanalytes, such as glucose, for example. The new OECT and materials developed in this work may have the potential to play a role in not only monitoring blood sugar levels, for example, but they may also contribute significantly to disease management by offering faster and more accurate readings in a home setting, thus leading to exciting new technology with broad applications. Thank you. Yeah, so I think being in the lab and now just kind of starting my own project, I've definitely gained a lot of skills. Um, specifically in the laboratory, you know, I've had to uh, learn a lot of new discrete lab skills. And a lot of what I do is device fabrication. And this actually involves uh, a high level of precision. So it's taught me a lot of patience and attention to detail. And then also my data collection and interpretation skills. And that kind of encompasses not only measuring the electronic performance of these devices, um, 
but as well interpreting the data and extracting what's actually relevant for us. So I definitely learned a lot about that. And then also kind of stepping back, I think big picture has definitely been my problem solving skills. So when you're in a research lab, you know, you're not necessarily given a step-by-step -step manual on how to complete an experiment like you would in a typical laboratory classroom. So that includes, you know, you might not always know what the outcome of your experiment is. And if something goes wrong, it might not always be clear on how you deal with that. So I think being put in those situations where I've kind of had to work on my feet um, more efficiently and then also kind of navigate problems as they arise unexpectedly has been um, a big challenge and I've taken a lot of skills from that, so. Thank you.